here we presents the top 5 best AV receiver. Starting of our listed number 5, Moran Senna R1607. Count the latest update to the popular slimline NR line, Marantz's Dolby Atmos enabled NR1607 packs a load of features into a low profile frame. The 50W PC power rating may be modest, but this little box can slam loud and hard when it needs to. The subtle, immersive 3D audio of Atmos is also well handled here, audio panning around and overhead is thoroughly engaging. The receiver is more than confident with two-channel sources, although it lacks the sparkle of some of more expensive rivals. While the power output is plenty good enough for smaller rooms, larger theater spaces could be a challenge. Edge past 80 on the volume gauge in the mid-range dries out. Overall, the NR1607 can be considered a potent slimline Dolby Atmos receiver. HDMI connectivity is class leading, and our only grumble is the solitary output, which could limit options if you want to run both a screen and a projector. If you For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Coming in at number 4 of our list, Pioneer Elite Audio. Where previous picks in the sub $500 category require listeners to forego cutting edge features like Dolby Atmos and DTS, X object based surround sound, Pioneer's impressive VSX, LX102 has found a way to integrate that technology and more, providing some of the most compelling bang for the buck in home audio. The VSX, LX102 offers built in Wi Fi and Ethernet ports including high-res streaming from your computer or NAS device, and modern accoutrements like Chromecast and DTS Play Fi built-in for multi-room integration. Those after great sound in their space will also appreciate the inclusion of the company's multi-channel acoustic calibration system room tuning software. If you're after a loud and fully featured receiver that offers modern tech at a ridiculous price, there is nothing better than Pioneer's Elite VSX, LX102. Halfway of our listed number 3. Sony STRD N1080. It might be late to the party, but Sony's debut Dolby Atmos AV receiver entertains with some cool functionality. While it's ostensibly a 7-channel design there are also two phantom rears which create a pseudo 7-channel surround sound stage. The receiver can even virtually relocate the physical position of your speakers, to create a better sonic balance. Setup is helped along by the latest iteration of Sony's auto calibration software, which now features a 31-band graphic EQ and a stereo calibration microphone that adjusts phase, distance and level. Usability is average. The receiver relies heavily on its UI, which is pretty but sometimes a little frustrating. Performance is excellent for the price. Tonally the STR, DN1080 may not be particularly warm, but it is exciting. Movies benefit from seamless panning and pronounced dynamics. Power output is quoted at 7x 165W into 6 ohms. The biggest surprise is the effectiveness of the phantom rears, which really do help fill out the rear surround stage. This sonic trickery positions the STR, DN1080 somewhere above a standard 5, 1, 2 design, but below a true 9 channel amp. Number 2 of this list. Moran Savi Audio. AV receivers are often the largest piece of gear sitting under your TV, and while this isn't an issue for some, that doesn't mean everyone is happy with a bulky box. The Marantz NR1608 offers top-notch sound and many of the same features of other receivers on this list, but has a slimmer build and smaller footprint, making it a better option for those who don't have much space or simply find a smaller piece of gear more aesthetically pleasing. You do sacrifice a bit on power. The 7.2 channel model is rated at 50 watts per channel at 8 ohms, not exactly a powerhouse compared to some of the other models on this list, but still more than enough for the home theater needs of many. This model features 8 HDMI inputs, all of which support HDMI 2.0 with both HDR10 and Dolby Vision HDR support, HDCP 2.2, and 4, 4, 4 color and BT. 2020 making it about as future-proof as you could hope for. This model also features multi-room integration in the form of AirPlay and Hiss, and is even Alexa-enabled, meaning you can control some features with your voice. It also comes with software for setup and room correction by way of Odyssey Mult EQ, the system favored by Marantz and Denon. 
and coming in at number 1 of our list, Onkyo TX RZ820. If the price tag on the Anthem model is too rich for your blood, the Onkyo TX RZ820 lowers the price significantly without losing much in the way of features. This 7.2 channel model supports both Dolby Atmos and DTS X, as well as 4K Ultra HD pass-through with HDR10 and Dolby Vision HDR support. In addition, this model is THX Select certified, helping assure it will do your favorite movies justice. The TX RX820 offers 130 watts per channel at 8 ohms, and uses Onkyo's dynamic audio amplification with high output transformers and customized capacitors to provide powerful, effortless sound. The receiver offers a total of 7 HDMI inputs, and 2 HDMI outputs are included, with one available to be used for a second zone. While it isn't quite as top-notch as Anthem's room correction, this model features Onkyo's AccuEQ room correction, including AccuReflex, and does include a small microphone for measurement. Power users may want to do a manual calibration, however. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel, share this video and hit the like button.